take the insulator and I want to cut it. Same thing I want to want to go about 16, 18 inches. Give me plenty of room to work with. Stick that handle in that end of that in the ground if I can get it in the ground. Because if you don't, it's going to slinky on you and get loose. Okay, you notice it's got two sets of holes in it. How many of you have seen the old Chinese finger puller? You, know, you put your finger in it, the tighter you pull, the tighter it gets. Same thing with this. You want to put it in there. You don't want to pull on each end where it's pulling again, you know, just pulling away from itself. You want to pull where the wires are actually cross in the middle. Take that, take it, let it turn in your hand. And I want, I want my insulator about that far from my post. A lot of people put them way out here. Why would I not want to put them way out here? How many of you got, got sheep and goat? If you got a foot of space right there, what's going to happen? They're going to shoot through it. So I'm going to always put my handle just about the handle's width, about a hand width. And not many sheep or goats going to slide through that, but they'll try it. Take it, just pull back on it, and when it crosses right there in the middle, just hold it and twist, and you're ready to start wrapping again. You come back and you put your handle in it, just like I did a while ago. Put your handle and start wrapping. And after you wrap, the better it, it's, the wire's going to warm up, the better it's going to work. You see it? Wrapping my handle is parallel to my wire. To get ready to break, I turn it out again, crank it backwards, and it pops off. But that's the, what I was telling some of the guys from Kerr a while ago. You're sitting at home, it's cold, rainy, nasty, ugly. You can't get outside, you don't want to go outside. If you know your post are five inches, go find you a post under the barn somewhere that's five inches. Make you a bunch of these. Slide them off the top of the post, throw, throw them in your bucket, and get ready to go build a fence. You slide it on there, and you're ready to go. And like I say, it'll, it'll just suck up tight. When you, when you put the tension on the fence, it'll suck up good and tight, and you don't even have to staple it. And if you think, well, I got my wire a little too high, loosen up your wire going down through here, do that, slide it down whatever height you want, and you're ready to go. You never have to staple it. You could adjust it for goats and cows. If, if, I'm running, if I'm running cows and I got it up here at 36 inches and I go, well, I'm, not, I'm done with cows, I'm going to run stock. I need it at 32 inches. I move it to 32 inches. But you can just slide those over your post, cinch them up tight. And the good part about it is when you do make them, they're in a bucket and, you, and you're going out through there and you're putting them on this side, you get down there and, well, I need a wire on this side. In another section, just turn it over, <laughs> put it back on there, and go.